my name is Bill. Have you recently seen any of our K-pop for dummies video? Well, they're gonna be pop 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 somewhere right here for you guys to check out. But here is a brand new episode for you all. Have you seen in Korean dramas or variety shows everybody calling each other either oppa or ani and wonder what they meant? Well, you know what? I'm here to tell you what they mean. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go. Oppa. Let's go ahead and get started in a friendly conversational manner. So, for a girl speaking to an older man, you call him oppa. For a girl speaking to an older woman, you say ani. <laughs> for example, I have an older brother and an older sister. For my brother, I call him oppa. For my sister, I call her ani. So those are just some examples using the phrase for oppa and ani. Oppa, 좋아하네. Yeah. 오빠거든? 동갑인 거 제가 다 알거든요. Let's say you are a male and you're trying to speak to an older male figure. You would call him young, and if you're trying to speak to an older woman, you would call her Nuna. If they are older than you by one year, even one month, you must refer to them in the correct term. But you know, if you're the older one, it's okay. It means that your opinion is highly well respected and it is highly valued. But you also need to take care of those who are younger than you. So that's a really big responsibility to have. So don't forget that. The next word we have is dongseng. It refers over to as little sister or little brother. There's a lot of person being a dongseng. It means that you are always taking care of, but don't forget. There are always going to be someone that's younger than you. So be careful and don't abuse your power as being a younger sibling. Let's go over to a more formal setting now. For a senior, they're referred to as sunbae, those who have much more experience, whereas the opposite would be junior, which is fullbae. These two terms are used in regardless towards age. It really just depends on who has much more experience in the respective field they are in, and they're mostly used at work or at school. And the last word for everybody, for my friends, is 친구! <laughs> the last word we have to share with you all is 친구. It means friend. So you can use this phrase to those who are the same age as you and of course to your friends. <laughs> Wow, 대박. 야, 하리 너한테 저런 친구도 다 있었어? 저런? 아니, 유유상종을 거슬러도 정도가 있는 거지. 이게 얼굴 하면 하고 다니는 야! 야, 네가 우리 해진을 알아? 어? 아니야고. Okay, everybody, that is it. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video and you learned what the phrases mean. So the next time you hear it in a variety show or on a drama, you know exactly what they are saying. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fun videos like this. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Did you have fun watching our video? I had a lot of fun recording it for you all. But please do check out our other fun videos right here. I think I'm looking at myself. I look pretty odd. But please do check out our other fun videos and do click subscribe right down here. So keep up to date with all their fun videos that are going to be coming out soon. Thank you. 안녕, my 친구. Bye.